Hello everybody. This is Carol from the Friendly Quail and I'm here for part three of my ring bound um, sewing journal in a tin. So I'm just going to uh, like you to come and craft with me for a little while. I'll show you some of the things I'm doing and um, we'll go from there. So welcome. Thank you for coming to my channel. Yesterday or the last video I did this one and I wanted to just show you this I thought that was boring without anything on it so I put a, um, a hook and eye on it and that worked out really well so t and this is my finished belly band with the uh, the excess trimmed off another thing I did was I took some tattered rose distress ink and I went around the edges just to kind of finish it off. I did it on this one too. So now today I'm going to the next page. And um, this is what the pages look like. This is the fabric side. This was the napkin. This is the paper. And uh, that this is what I'm going to be working with today. Now I decided to put some lace on this side and I'm going to put some on this side but this side it's going to be a pocket and this side it's just going to be on as a decoration. So I'm going to start with that and I, again I will leave this um, the uh, excess over the edges and I will use that to, um, I'll, I'll take it off at the end. I'll cut it off once it's dry. So I'm just going to put this around here. Kind of measure it if you saw me make a pencil mark. And I'm also going to, to make sure I've got it the right direction. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I'm also going to put some on here, so this will be glued down around the edges. I'm going to put that right on here. You can see the blue through there. I thought that was really pretty. Now on this side, I found, um, whoops, I'm dropping buttons here. There, now I got it. I found this in with some buttons that had buttons in it. And what I did is I took the little flap and tucked it in so that it's to the inside and that makes this stronger. And I'm going to put this on as a pocket. And I'm going to... I can decorate it on or off. I guess I'll do it on. I'm going to put glue on this entire back. So that it's it's stuck on there. I'm going to kind of line it up. closer to the bottom because I'm going to have something sticking out the top. All right. Then I fussy cut this out of a pattern and I'm going to glue that on here like this. I could use different glue but this is what I have out so this is what is going to be. I like to use either Fabri-Tac or I'm going to leave a little bit on, not on the arm because it's going to stick off. Oh, I can put it on. There. <laughs> yeah, just make up your mind, Carol. Okay, now I'm going to put her on so that she's kind of even with the bottom of this. And since I glued it down, I can just put her like that. I, I cut that out of a pattern, uh, off of a pattern piece. Oh. The 
other glue I use is art glitter glue all the time because it dries nice and fast. Um, this piece of lace is going to go on here, but I have to trim it just a little bit. And, oops. And I think what I'll do is I'll put the glue right on here. Hope everybody's doing okay today. We're actually, uh, it's been raining here. Big thunderstorm when I woke up this morning. All right. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put some buttons on. Since it says extra buttons. I'll have to get out my cup so I can put this upside down. Don't want it to leak out though. This will go here. Put this one near the nearer to the top. Right up here. And then I'm gonna put this one on the bottom. I'm going to be making a tag for inside of here, but I thought I'd do the pages first. All right, now this one, like I said, I'm going to make it into a pocket. So I'll do the same thing I did for the other side. I kind of get it lined up so it's about the same. And make a little mark under here and under here. In this one, I'm just going to put the glue on the edge of the fabric. Okay, just kind of smear it a little bit so it doesn't leak through too bad. And then one on. All right. Now to decorate on this side, I thought I got out these little scraps. I have all kinds of little tiny scraps. And you can make like just a little, it's like an asterisk with the eight sides. Put a little bit of glue on. Put in, make it into like a little plus sign. Whoop. <laughs> it doesn't want to let go. All right. I'll put a little more glue here. And we'll put that one at an angle because now I'm going to make like an X. On top, okay, pull it and put the last piece on. So now I sort of have a little fabric flower. I'm gonna put this on here. And a button right in the middle. And then I'll put another button here. Get some glue on it, I'll get it off later. I'm such a messy crafter. <laughs> and another button there. 
So later on this will be cut off and that will be my pages and then I will be uh, making some tags. For inside of this one, I think what I'm doing here is I'm going to use uh, a piece that I got off of a, a Kleenex box. This was the part that you lifted up off the big one. And I cut it a little smaller so that it would be the right size. And I'm going to cover it uh, with this leftover scrap of scrapbook paper on one side. <laughs> Every time I stop, start doing something, I stop talking. And so I'm just putting that on here. It'll be nice. That'll just make it nice and strong. And uh, I'm going to line it up with the edge. Okay. Again, our glitter glue would have worked for that as well. And then I'm going to Cut it out around the edge. I'm going to be also putting some coffee dyed paper on the back to write on. And then I have a little uh, image that I'm going to put on top of that. So everything's on except the very little tip of that ear. So I'm going to just glue that right on. This is another image from Pinterest. Okay, I have bells hanging on my lamp from my sister. Okay, see that little ear kind of sticks off on that side there. And then I have some other little images that I'm going to put onto this coffee dyed paper. So that then I can uh, cut them out and I'll sew around them and make some little cards. These three little cards here will be going into this pocket right here. But I do want to dress them up a little bit. And then this one will fit right into this little pocket. And uh, I left the little... Uh, notch because I'm going to put a safety pin across there as my with some fabric as my uh, little pull on the top there my little uh, decoration um, okay so I'm going to take these and put them on and get it back down there again really should use my art glitter glue only because it's cheaper than this. Okay, I'm going to put this one this way. And I've got it right here, so why not? Glitter glue dries really fast. This one I'm going to put like that. So it'll all be backed with 
nice coffee dyed paper. This one on here. After this dries I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to sew around it and then I'll put the little topper on there and I have a little ribbon for on here and uh, sew around them so I'll bring that back for the next time and uh, put the topper on with you but the sewing I'll do uh, before I come back so so far these are this is what we've got for part three. Thank you for crafting with me. I'm glad you came and I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for coming. This is Carolette, Friendly Quail. Bye!